Hi, David Johnson here from Grow the Dream, and we are kicking off a brand new feature today. We're going to see how this goes. We're calling it Marketing Mondays. It's Monday, so why not pay attention to growing your business today? And as you know, probably if you've been around Grow the Dream in the past, we focus on small business owners. We we focus on business owners and their teams, on the things that you need to do to grow your business. And one of those things is obviously having a website. And so today we're going to talk about how to maintain your WordPress site for non-techies. Now, our Marketing Mondays features are accompanied by a blog post that goes into much greater detail than we're going to do on these videos. I'm going to hit a couple of highlights and I'm going to refer you to our website to check out this post, which we'll go into more detail. Our post today is written by Paul Rose, who is a fantastic member of our team, and you're going to find that he writes uh, really fantastic material and goes into great detail for you. So, what is WordPress? Well, if you are like just crawling out from under a rock, WordPress powers 30% of the entire World Wide Web. It's a content management system. We've been using it since 2006. I'll never forget the first day I actually I actually started a hosting account. I opened a hosting account with a hosting provider just so I could install WordPress. I'll save the entire story for another time. But it was September of 2006, and I've never looked back. We've had such incredible results with it. And so if you've been around us in the past, been through any of our training programs, if you've been a client of ours, you've got a WordPress site, or at least you know that we believe you should have one. But there are a few things that happen when you get a WordPress site. One of those things is time marches on, and you really do have to maintain your WordPress site. And I will say that there have been times in the past that we've been... I've been a little remiss in not helping people understand that you have a responsibility to maintain your WordPress site. Now, this doesn't need to be something highly technical. There can be technical components to the whole mix, but there don't have to be. So really, it comes down to three major things. And again, you can read more detail in our blog post on this topic. But the first major thing is backups. You want to have backups for your WordPress site. Uh, Maybe your hosting provider has a disaster. Maybe your site gets hacked. It does happen. Listen, the fastest way to recover from having your website hacked or having malware installed or other problems is by having a good backup. And you need to back up two pieces. There are the files themselves that make up WordPress, and then there's a database. I won't get into the specifics here. But there are nice, easy ways to back up your WordPress site. And then there are the more technical ways that people like me tend to use where, you know, you use an FTP client and you use a command line and a terminal window and all that sort of stuff. But you don't have to get crazy technical like I do. Just make sure you have a backup solution in place. The second major thing that we want to really encourage you to do is upgrade your site. And that means keep on top of the WordPress releases as well as updating your plugins and even your themes. Now, again, a lot of technical language here. I won't go into great detail on this, but you may have noticed for the last couple of years now that WordPress upgrades itself. Well, at least it does within um, the dot releases, they call them. So, for example, 3.0, 3.1, 3.2. I actually don't remember exactly which version it was. The, the WordPress fanatics out there will be mad at me for referring to 3 dot because I think we actually got automatic upgrades in 4 dot. But anyway, somewhere along the line, WordPress began getting those upgrades all by itself. Now, it will not do major point releases by itself. The minor releases, which are the in between the dot releases, those are usually for just security purposes only. Occasionally you get some bug fixes, you might get a a minor feature tweak or something, but no major features typically happen in there. They're really just ways to keep your site more secure and to make sure that you're not falling behind. And your WordPress site will update itself for those. But you have to manually jump in there and update it for the major releases. Now, a recent situation happened in the WordPress community where WordPress, I believe it was 4.9.4, upgraded to 4.9.5, and there was a bug in 4.9.5 and it broke the automatic updating feature. And so you had to manually upgrade it to 4.9.6. I may actually have these versions wrong uh, because I haven't looked at them recently, but that's the deal. So uh, in any case, you want to make sure that it's happening. Again, not just WordPress, but also your plugins and your themes. And keep in mind that sometimes when you run an upgrade to WordPress, 
a plugin may no longer function as planned, or vice versa. You may upgrade a plugin and something else doesn't work quite right anymore. This is why you need backups. Sometimes you just need to restore from your backup, then figure out what's going on. But always run a backup before you upgrade anything. It'll keep you out of trouble. And the third major thing that we want to mention for maintaining a WordPress site for non-techies is content. You got to keep it full. <laughs> you got to fill that site up with good content. Otherwise, it's not doing you any good at all. Having fresh new content on your website will make an enormous difference in terms of your search engine performance. It'll also give you great fodder for your social media channels. And it's just a great way to keep in touch with your clients and your customers. So I hope you found this video useful. I do want to encourage you to please check out the blog, po uh, the blog post that we've prepared for you on how to maintain a WordPress site for non-techies. And by all means, fire away. If you have questions, this YouTube channel for Grow the Dream is for you. So we want to encourage you to ask questions here and we'll do our best to tackle them in the comments. We'll also maybe even make a video if your question is one that would make sense for us to do an entire video on. So I do want to encourage you to do that. Thanks again for watching. Again, I'm David Johnson and we're delighted to have you here for Marketing Monday.